Hello, this is a tutorial for VCS Game Maker. This is a tool that allows you to anyone to uh, create uh, a, a Atari, Atari 2600 games with very little coding. Everything is, uh, is built using coding blocks. It's a no code no code tool for Atari, for making Atari Atari 2600 homes. This is the first time I, I do any tutorial of video, so let's hope this works well. First, you enter ichio slash VCS Game Maker. Then you reach the, this level and you can press Run to to start up the, the tool. As you can see here, you have here uh, uh, at the right side, you have an emulator yeah, and you can see the blue, that blue character is that red character is player zero, and the, that blue character is player one. You can, you can uh, do various things with them. For example, you can you could edit the frames. Let's say add uh, one more frame to player one. So I, I, I added a new um, additional frame to the animation to player one's animation and go back to actions you can see that the additional frame appears here. Same thing for player one, two, either one uh, you can do that. Uh, you can also add added backgrounds, you can even have extra backgrounds. Uh, if you if you want, let's say I want to remove remove the those little parts there. Add some more here. As you can see, it shows. So, but mainly the the game uh, the behavior of the game is programmed using blocks, as you can see here. And there, there are there are also uh, more uh, more complex uh, example, more complete examples down here at the examples section of the component at the component bar so let's say you want you want to change change the the uh, increase let's say here it's increasing the the player x location by one every one frame you can also uh, make it change the y coordinates as you can see the player one is moving vertically
Um, let's do the same for player 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 one. As you can see, player one is moving horizontal. Uh, player one is moving horizontally, and player two is moving vertically. Let's use one, one, one of the examples here as a starting point. Player one moving left and right with a collision against the background. As you can see here, we move when the whole code is here. We move left, he moves left. We move le right, he moves right. And also he collides against the background. If you also add this piece of code, he, he also moves vertically in addition to horizontally. Let's uh, add some sound as an example. Mm, no, even better, there's also an example where player one shoots missile one. So now, now when I press the button, when I press the fire, fire button, the player fi fires the missile. So, as you can see here, whenever uh, someone uh, presses the, if the someone press uh, S uh, fire button on joystick zero, uh, it fa it sets the x and y coordinates of the missile zero to the x and y coordinates of player zero, sets the height of the missile to a fixed height. And also, there's also this condition here where if, uh, if the missile y coordinate is smaller than zero, that is, if the, the missile leaves from the top of the screen, it uh, automatically resets the position of the missile so it can be fired again. Okay, that being said, let's add some sound. It's a bit boring finding the missile not having a sound, right? Can okay, add sound here? So you you can set various par parameters. You have two sound ch channels: uh, channel zero and channel one. Uh, there are va various. various kinds of sound types and here you can uh, set the frequency uh, small, low, lower values uh, imp imply higher higher frequencies you can also change the volume you can make make it less longer for example uh, let's say you want to make it less uh, 30 frames instead of 10 frames. <laughs> and 
And that's it. It's for, for now the the game the to to some capabilities are limited, but you can can easily make some sounds using that. So. Let, let's make the uh, player one, the blue player, reacts to the when the missile touches him. Let's check collision. So, see if player one, that's the blue player, collides with missile zero, let's change the x coordinate of the play of player one uh, to a random value. Oops, wrong player. I'm here. I, I I'm changing the the x coordinate of player zero, not player one. Let's try again. Well, Let's use some larger numbers here. Yes, that's better. As you see, every time I'm uh, the missile out player one, he gets uh, located to a different play, uh, location. On the screen. Let's add some sound too. That's it. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty easy to use. Uh, and you can also click on Get Generated ROM to save the uh, save it, it as an as an Atari home home file that can be played on any Atari to twenty six hundred emulator. Well, for now, that's it. See you, see you next time.